In today's video, I'm gonna go through the new Pulse mod that they are adding in title update 12 called Achilles Pulse. I will go through how to get it, how it really works, the best usage for it, and much more. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. So yesterday I did make a video about a title update 10 solo sniper build that did utilize this skill. So if you are interested in a sniper build that hits for over 100 million by playing solo, you should check that video out. In this video though, I will focus all on the Achilles Pulse. So to start off, how do you actually get the Pulse mod? Well, as with every other new skill mod that they do add, it is usually tied to the seasonal mana. So I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be the thing with this one as well. So whenever you defeat Season 4's prime target, you should get the Achilles Skill Pulse mod. If we take a first look at the skill and read what it says, it says target a single enemy with a pulse which identify weaknesses, highlights them and cause damage to those areas to take headshot damage. Useful for solo snipers or as a support skill user painting target for your teammates. So you basically pulse a target and get a zone that will act as a head and you will do headshot damage to that zone obviously. So it's a really good skill when you're fighting NPCs that don't have a head such as robots or NPCs that have helmets such as big tanks. If we take a closer look at the stats that we get at skill tier 0, we have a number of zones at 1, zone health being around 400k, zone duration 13 seconds and cooldown at 36 seconds which is quite long. So the number of zones goes up all the way to 3 in total with the skill tier 6. And with the overcharge mechanic, you will get 6. And then it will kind of act like Dead Eye since every part on the body will have a zone. So every zone that you hit would be headshot damage, but the catch being the zone health. If you do damage above the zone health that starts at around 400k and that maxes out at 800k, the zone will disappear. So if you do play a SMG, AR, rifle, it might not be that effective since even with my AR build, I could easily get rid of the zone with just one hit, which makes it pretty useless. So you can clearly see that this will be the best for sniper builds, since snipers do struggle quite a lot against NPCs that don't have a head. <laughs> Because even though the zone health is capped at 800k when it's maxed out, if you hit the sniper bullet on the zone, you can still hit crits for like 50 and even 100 million plus. And if the zone marks the head, you will get double the headshot damage as well, which can result, as I said earlier, in shots over 100 million damage. So yeah, my first quick impression of this without looking into it too much, I thought this would be amazing to any type of build. But the zone health does limit this to sniper. The zones are also random, so if you don't have a lot of skill tears, it's a bit annoying, but having a support player with this would definitely be fun if you're sniping. Sadly though, I couldn't really test that on PTS because none of my friends are really playing. Personally though, I would like to see this being focused on zone duration and not zone health, so it would work for all weapons. But that might be just a bit too strong, but I think it would be a really fun skill to use that way. As of now though, it's just good for snipers to use against targets without a head and I don't know if it's really really worth to have a support player for that unless there are some really niche uh, situations. But overall though, I think it's a really cool addition to the game, just not sure how often it's gonna be used. It can make your sniper into a cracked deadeye sniper, downside being if you are using headhunter, even though the zones do act as a head. If you get a kill with it, you will lose headhunter buff since it is not a headshot kill. Hopefully they could change that and I could see this being way way better for sniper builds using headhunter. But with that said, maybe this would work better with focus. Worth to note as well is that it doesn't pen, so armored NPC will require at least two shots anyway. It would be really cool if this would actually ignore the armor plate and just pen straight through. And if you also would keep the headhunter buff. Losing the headhunter buff if you get a kill on the zone is something I really think that you shouldn't do. Because it, it makes it really annoying. If they could fix that, I think it would be a way better skill. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I will have a few more videos from the PTS. So if you are interested in that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one.